I've been working on this operations dashboard for the last couple of weeks. And while there's not an official release date yet, I will be releasing this as a template. But today, we're not focusing on that. We're focusing on how I am integrating templated and their API into this dashboard and how you can do it. We're going to be talking about how easy it is and I will guide you step by step on exactly everything that you need to know as you are integrating templated into your project. And before we jump in, before we go through all of that, I want to tell you what is templated. So templated is an API that allows you to generate images and PDFs from templates. And you can generate multiple of them, just use one template, changing dynamic data within those templates. So it make it really easy for you to offer a service or a software as a service, or regardless of what you're trying to do using this API. So I will teach you exactly what you need to do. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring here the prompt that I have created. And I will leave you this prompt down in the description below if you want to use it, you can. But basically the biggest thing is if once you create your template account, you want to go on the sidebar and you want to click on embed the editor. And here you can see everything there from it, which you can man manage from the code, the asset color, the interface colors and everything else. We're going to do that a little bit later, but what you want to do is you want to copy this embed code and you want to paste it into this prompt that I will leave you down in the description below and I will have you paste it here. So we're going to send this. And while it's doing that, we're going to explore a little bit on the API and what is possible with this. First of all, this is the editor. This is the preview. So this is what it's going to look like. As you can see, it's completely functional and it should allow you to make any changes as needed. Here you can change the transparency. You can add borders. There's a whole lot of stuff that you can do by inserting this editor into your application. The biggest thing is that rather than spending hours, days, weeks, months, and hundreds of dollars, even thousands of dollars into creating your own editor, you're going to be actually using it from one of the top living editors in the market right now. And after a few minutes of work, we have something done. So we have a design studio. So we're going to take a look at the studio. And as you can see, we have, okay, so it's authorized for this domain. Yep. The reason why is because we haven't set that up. So we're going to publish this. We're going to go to things admin that uh, uh, that's the one. Yeah. All right. We're going to publish this and we're going to send it. But while it's doing that, what I will do is I will add my domain here. So we just added the domain. We're going to add this second one. That, that should do it actually. We're going to upload the logo. We're going to get the colors for the brand. This will allow us to actually get everything that we need in order to make sure everything matches the color and the brand. So here's the color and we're going to save this configuration. This is updated. We're going to open now. We're going to access the dashboard. And now we have within our own dashboard, 
our own version of Canva or our own version of templated without having to spend thousands of dollars. Right now I can click on any of my designs. I can go and make changes to it, making sure that it matches my brand. We can actually preview. We're on a free plan, so this is just a preview of what is possible, but bring it back to it. Make changes to these. Hello. War. Yeah. We're going to save it. We're going to download it. Let's actually make it okay. It's probably not downloading because we have a preview. That's going to be my assumption. But as you can see, you can come here and upload your images and then you can paste that into your design. So we got that there. When refresh here, I want to go to my templates. Okay. We got it. Oops. And if we go back to the templates, as you can see, it's actually working where it's syncing back to my own template account. So we have our own editor inside our admin dashboard that is integrated into templated. So whether you want to use a templated or you just want to use a admin dashboard, you can do both. Now you can offer these to your clients. So you pay one subscription for an enterprise level subscription and on your clients use it, or you can allow your users to actually enter their own API code for them to be able to use template in your application. That will be for another video because we're going to be integrating the template API into Longview to start building certain things in there. But that's for a different video. Thank you for watching. This is how easy it is to add a Canvas style feature into your application, whether you're using Nova Board, Bolt, Emergent, Reply Agents, or any other Vibe coding tool. It's as easy as I had shown you. Not rocket science, they make it super easy, and I will give you the prompt down in the description below. That being said, Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will leave you a link down below for templated for you to sign up if you don't have an account yet. It is an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you anything. It just gives us a little bit of money so we can keep the channel running. With that being said, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video.